Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. This is Pastor Shagun Baje. Thank you for tuning in and God bless you. We're looking at the prayer that works, the prayer that produces results. Glory to God. You see, God answers prayers. The Bible says by awesome things in righteousness will he answer us. So God answers prayers. Then again, he says to call unto him and he will answer us. And he will show us great and mighty things which we do not know. God answers prayers. In John 16 and verse 23, he says, In that day you shall ask me nothing, Jesus speaking, but whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, he says he will give it to you. That means God answers prayers. God loves to answer prayers because he's a faithful God. And he responds to his word because he cannot deny himself. And so when we pray in faith, according to God's word, he responds to us. And now the prayer that works is the prayer that is prayed in faith. Praise God. You have to pray in faith and with intensity from your heart because God is a spirit. And those who worship him or pray to him must do it in spirit and in truth. When your heart connects you know, to God in prayer and the fervency of your heart is expressed to God in faith, God always responds in faith as well because he's a faithful God. Hallelujah. In other words, he will respond to what he has said in his word that your heart has laid claim on. Praise God. Did you see that? So God answers prayers. And so you pray in faith. What does it mean to pray in faith? It simply means to pray in confidence that God is faithful to what he says in his word. Whatever he said to you, he will do just that. He is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. Has he said it, shall he not do it? Has he spoken it, shall he not make it good? Never forget that effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much, makes tremendous power available, which is dynamic in its working. Praise God. So God answers prayers. But we have to pray in faith. And when we pray in faith, we must pray with our heart open to God in fervency. It must pour out of our heart. It's called effectual fervent prayer. It comes with intensity. Glory to God. It must come with intensity. James chapter 5 and verse 16. It tells us that effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availed much. It must come with intensity. Your heart must be involved. It's not just saying a prayer, you know, from your head. God is not in the physical realm. He's a spirit being. He responds in the physical realm, yes. But he see, you must connect with him with your spirit, with your heart in prayer. Glory to God. And when you do it in faith, he will answer. He said so in his word. And he will respond to what he said in his word. Praise God. Amen. And that's why it's important for you to pray in faith, to pray fervently. Amen. Pray fervently with your heart involved, with, you know, intensity in your heart, boiling in your heart to God. Amen. And then God responds. That's the prayer that works. A prayer that is prayed in faith with your heart unto God always gets results. Praise God. This was the kind of prayer Elijah prayed and he got results. The saints of old prayed these prayers and they got results. Amen. Your case can be out of place. Glory to God. And so pray in faith with fervency and you get awesome results in Jesus' name. I believe you've been blessed today until I come your way again tomorrow. Keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you and God bless you.